Good morning. Welcome to our Godly Play classroom. Let's look over at our church calendar. I wonder how many weeks we are into in Lent. One, two, three, four, five. Today is the fifth Sunday of Lent. So it means that Lent is almost done. Now during this time of Lent, we learn the stories of the one who is the mystery of Easter. I wonder which stories we will hear today. There was once someone who told the people what it was like to be part of the family of God. And people listened, but they were not always sure. Who is this person telling us what it's like to be part of the family of God? And so they asked him, and Jesus said, I am the light. And that light is with us as we get ready for our story. So I invite you to get ready with me. Get comfortable. And I like to get ready by taking a deep breath in. <sighs> that felt pretty good. In the beginning, the baby was born. The baby was born into the family of the mother Mary and the father Joseph. And they raised the baby with love and kindness and support. Jesus was like us. Now, Jesus grew, and when he was about 12 years old, he took a trip to the temple in Jerusalem, and his family could not find him because he was so curious, and he wanted to ask all the questions. And finally, his family found him in the temple, just learning about everything. Jesus grew up, and when he was about 30 years old, he went to the river to be baptized by his cousin John. And the people there heard a voice saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. After Jesus was baptized, he went into the desert and spent some time in the wilderness. And there an evil voice tried to tempt Jesus by telling him what he should do and by telling Jesus to make unhealthy choices. And Jesus said, no, I'm not going to listen to you. I am a king, but not the kind of king that uses power for evil. I'm not the kind of king that uses power to take I'm a different kind of king. I wonder what kind of king Jesus is. Jesus was preparing for the work that God had called him to do. And that work included telling stories. Jesus told stories called parables. And these parables described an amazing kingdom. It was not the kind of kingdom that people were used to. It was the kind of kingdom that turned everything inside out and upside down. Where the last were first, where the children were right there with Jesus. When Jesus met people, their lives were changed. Some people had trouble seeing, and after meeting Jesus, they could see everything clearly. Some people had trouble walking, but after meeting Jesus, they were running and dancing. Some people were lost, but after meeting Jesus, they were found. Some people were alone and by themselves. But after meeting Jesus, they had a friend. 
Jesus changed everything in their lives. I wonder if you've ever felt like you couldn't see things clearly. Maybe you didn't see yourself clearly or others. I wonder if you've ever had difficulty knowing which way to walk, which direction was the right path for you. I wonder if you've ever felt lost and like you weren't sure which decision to make. What is the best way to live? And I wonder if you've ever felt all alone, like no one else could possibly understand you. The people felt that way too, but Jesus changed their lives. And I wonder how Jesus changes your life. Now during this time of Lent, I want you to think about something that you have, something in your home that can add to the story. Because remember that we are also part of the story, even though it happened a long time ago. And if you join us on Sunday School, um, I hope that you'll bring something to share with your friends that can add to the story and make it even better. Now it's time to change the light. As we know, the light of Jesus is here at one time and in one place. When it changes, it will fill up all the space around us. This light is pretty special because we carry the light of Jesus with us wherever we are and wherever we go.